AI just stepped into a new era. For the last two years, the entire industry was obsessed with context windows, 200,000 tokens, 1 million tokens, 10 million tokens. But here is the twist. The biggest context doesn't mean better thinking. It turns out giving a model a massive book doesn't mean it can actually read it. MIT just dropped a groundbreaking research paper that basically asks a very uncomfortable question. What if the model could think about its own output? What if it could call itself again? What if it could treat data like a workspace instead of a wall of text? This idea breaks everything we assumed about LLMs and it opens the door to true intelligent agents. Bigger context does not mean better reasoning. Retrieval does not mean understanding. See this slide, GPT-4 had 128,000 tokens, then came Claude with 200,000 tokens, and then Gemini 1.5 Pro itself had 1 million tokens, and Llama 10 million tokens. The illusion of scale capacity does not mean capability. A fast decline in reasoning accuracy as the context window increases. For two years, companies raced to show who could cram more text into a model. Gemini crossed 1 million tokens. Llama sets goals for tens of millions. GPT continued scaling up, but scaling context is like giving a student a bigger backpack. It doesn't guarantee they can find anything inside it. The context rot phenomenon. Models collapse past certain context range. Reasoning fails before retrieval fails. MIT demonstrated something brutal. Once you cross around 30,000 tokens, reasoning collapses. Retrieval tasks still work, but logical reasoning falls off a cliff. A retrieval augmented generation is useful. It chunks documents, stores embeddings and fetches relevant pieces based on a question. But RAG assumes the model is passive. It waits for humans to slice and spoon feed it. We have made several videos on RAG and you remember chunking itself, there are different strategies. We also have recursive chunking strategy to store the data into the vector database. So here we need domain expertise to be able to cleverly chunk, efficiently chunk the input knowledge. What if the model worked on itself? MIT flipped the paradigm. Instead of treating the model like a reader, we treat it like an agent. It can inspect, it can slice, it can loop, it can call itself again. RLM, recursive language model. That is a new buzzword. RLM shift from infinite memory to infinite management. The context stops being input. It becomes an environment like a library the model can browse. Instead of considering the model as a passive object, RLM keeps it active. This is the key mental switch. Traditional LLMs, traditional LLM gets a giant token dump and must digest it in one shot. RLMs treat the data as an external variable inside a Python REPL, that is read, evaluate, print loop. So on the right side, we can see the Python execution loop. On the top, root LLM. Then we have the environment which executes REPL, re-evaluate print loop. Then we have sub-agents making recursive calls. So here, top neural net provides intuition. Then on the right side, we have the code that provides structure. And together, they become neuro-symbolic systems. Neural nets provide intuition, code provides structure. Together, they become neuro-symbolic systems. Let's look at the RLM loop probe, that is inspect, decompose the plan, and then the swarm recurs. So probe, decompose, recurs, aggregate. This loop is what gives RLMs superpowers. Instead of swallowing a book whole, it investigates, slices, assigns sub-problems, recombines and verifies. So in phase one probing, active scanning versus passive reading. So model actually writes code to look at the data structure before committing to processing it. And phase two, algorithmic decomposition. Divide and conquer. Instead of the LLM trying to feel where the logical breaks are, it programmatically splits the text. 
This allows massive problems to fit into standard context window. For comparison, similar to a chunking strategy in our RAG. So here it is algorithmic decomposition. So depending on the data structure, it will decide how to decompose dynamically. Then it makes a recursive call. It defines the sub agents and dynamically delegate the task. Then it aggregates the root LLM collects variables from the loop, runs comparison logic in Python or spawns a final verify call before outputting high fidelity from 100% data coverage. So there is no contextual degradation. O long benchmark on screen 0.04% success rate to of GPT-5 32K context window to 58% success rate just by wrapping GPT-5 with RLM. So that is 1450x improvement purely through inference strategy. No model retraining. See this? So on a quadratic reasoning benchmark called O-Long Pairs, GPT-5 32K context window was near zero. With RLM as a wrapper, it jumps to 58% success and no model retraining was needed. 2017 to 2024, it was all about attention mechanisms. 2025, tool use and different MCP-based solutions. And 2026, we are going to see neurosymbolic agents, that is RLM, recursive language model based solutions. This is the next era, not bigger transformers, not bigger context, but smarter context managed through agents. If you're enjoying this breakdown, please hit like, drop a comment and share it. It helps massively. And do you think RLM based agentic AI is the future or just hype? So what did MIT just show us that the next breakthrough in AI isn't about infinite memory. It's about infinite management. It's about teaching model not to read more, but to read smarter. We are watching language models evolve into problem solving agents, able to explore reason, decompose tasks, call tools and self verify. And that takes us a major step closer to true intelligence. If you're serious about building a future in AI, not just using the tools, but understanding them deeply, I invite you to join my one-on-one -on -one mentorship in AI, robotics, and even electronics, and my hands-on internship program. We teach not just prompt engineering, but agent design, embeddings, RAG vector databases, robotics deployment, and real-world production AI. Link is in the description. Apply now if you're serious. Seats are limited. Struggling with tech? Stop wasting time guessing. Menda Expert gives you direct one-to-one -one guidance to learn faster, build smarter, and solve problems instantly. Your personal tech mentor is one session away.